you recently gained national headlines for an impressive, important speech across all media, and it went viral. You said, in reference to a racial slur that was written about another airman, you said to the cadets, if you're outraged by those words, then you're in the right place. You should be outraged not only as an airman, but as a human being. How do you root out racism in the military? Well, uh, I, I think you have to be, I think you have to speak in clear terms. These are 18 to 22 year olds. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the reason I spoke to them is because they're 18 to 22 year olds and I wanted to speak to them in clear terms that, that this was absolutely not acceptable and that you know we're not going to define ourselves and or allow that kind of speech to, to to happen and so i think you have to speak in clear terms and i i think today one of the things that i've learned being at the academy and i've only been there six months it's been a remarkable six months but uh is that uh, uh it, the the cadets the cadets are looking for that guidance they are looking for those clear terms. And so I was talking in that manner because they're 18 to 22 year olds and I didn't want to leave any doubt. Mm -hmm. And that uh, if I'll go back to your previous question, what's different? And, and my, my answer about what's different from the, uh, from the 80s to now. So when I, when I showed up in the 80s, I think largely we were a, a homogenous group. We came from largely the same backgrounds and upbringing. Uh, now, when I meet cadets that are coming in, they come from such a, a greater diversity of backgrounds and of values. Uh, uh, they're, they're raised in so many different ways by two parents, but they're raised by single parents or an aunt or an uncle or two moms or in, in their, their values that they bring are so different. And, and so that became very clear to me early. And, I, and so I think the way that we take on the societal issues with cadets now is that I have to take them on upfront and direct and that I have to, they have to know where those exact lines are. It sounds like it shouldn't only be for 18 to 22 year olds. <laughs> I think it would be very refreshing for many people if those same clear terms were spoken within society. I, I have outside, to, outside just that demographic. I, I have to say, I would, we met, we were talking beforehand, uh, some some folks, and and uh, when I came back from the speech, I was uh, uh, my my office said, "Hey, sir, you you have thousand views," <laughs> <laughs> and you know, some we hang a lot of videos of stuff right. that we do, and we get a couple thousand views. So when they said ten thousand, I thought, "Oh, eh, look." I did pretty good, I got 10,000 views. And a few hours later, it's in the hundreds of thousands, and by the next morning, it's in the millions, and then at that point, I thought, what have I done? <laughs> so uh, I learned a lot about uh, the, the position, but one of the defining moments, too, later, the Anti-Defamation League uh, awarded me their Americanism Award, mm -hmm. which I was, I was very proud of, uh, of someone outside of the military recognizing that. that. For, for many people, it was disappointing to learn, unfortunately, after this incident, yeah. that it was actually a black airman mm -hmm. that wrote the racial right. slur about himself. Right. And you took swift action against that. Why do you think somebody would do such a thing, regardless of race? Why would they do such a yeah. thing? I, I don't know why he did it, but... Uh, it, this is he, he's he's a decent young man mm -hmm. he was 18 years old and I don't know about the rest of you you know did, you know what kind of did you were, were you all perfect and made no. all the right choices no. when you were 18 years old and were all of those choices broadcast on social media you know every minute mm -hmm. of everything that you did and so uh, you know he, he he's a decent young man he made a mm -hmm. he made a very poor choice he's not with us anymore uh, I, I've, I've spoke with his family, with his father, and, and, and he's going to do fine, and he'll learn a lot from that. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I don't know why, mm -hmm. why he did it.